Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, young professionals, whatever you are. Welcome at uh, the second network event of uh, IADC, networking event for young professionals. First of all, welcome to you all as participants. Welcome to Frank Verhoeven, president of IADC. He will introduce himself later on. Two speakers, one this morning, the other one uh, this afternoon, Julius Sen, also lecturer of uh, the Young Management uh, Programme of IDC. Uh, two of you uh, met him uh, two, three weeks ago in Singapore. Uh, Serge de Geldere of Future Proofed, uh, also welcome to his team. The moderators, senior professionals from, uh, from the member companies, and uh, last but not least, uh, uh, the staff of IDC who made this all possible, but now they're going out. Uh, they don't want to present themselves. <laughs> networking event. What is networking? It's uh, a goal-targeted uh, activity, and it has to do with interpersonal relations. So networking is not the chit-chat we very often happen. can also be part, of course, uh, of the chit-chat. Of the, of the networking, um, but it has to bring us something, so it has a goal. And today we have a goal as IDC, and I hope you have a goal as, uh, as participant, to get to know as many people as possible, and also to broaden your mind and uh, open professional blinds. This morning I had a discussion with somebody who was in the technical department, Technical experts have a lot of competences, but sometimes co communication is not that much developed. So, please take the opportunity and uh, uh, exercise it as much as possible. Our aim as IDC for this event is that we have a common interest in the industry as all companies together. Um, some of these interests can't be dealt with by individual companies, so they need a platform. And IDC is an ideal platform uh, for contractors, as there are platforms, as CEDA, for instance, a platform for professionals in the dredging industry. This is for professionals from only dredging companies. And IDC can only uh, deal with all the interests by the input of uh, employees of the member companies. Today, a lot of senior people are dealing with these interests, but sometimes they will be retired and we need other people uh, who deal with these interests. We need their input. Uh, you as young professionals, we have to approach you in a different way. Uh, you communicate in a different way. And we have to deal with that. But before we can deal with that, we need your involvement in IDC and all its activities. And also in a, in a discussion uh, this morning, yeah, I've heard sometimes about IDC, but what they are really doing, I don't know. For that, I take the opportunity to uh, give a short introduction on IDC, what we are doing. And I hope you will become a kind of ambassador at the end of the day. Uh, because our activities, the board, the PR committee, and we ourselves are convinced that our activities and the products we have as IDC can bring you something in your professional work. Um, you can benefit from it, and it would be a pity if you didn't. But first, the program. It, it, it's not only listening today, it's also working. Uh, first, myself, as Secretary General of IDC, um, I will present our activities. Then uh, Frank Verhoeven, as president of IDC, will give a brief overview of the drivers of the industry. Then there will be a short energizer that's related to one of the purposes of uh, this, this building. Because in the 1970s, it was one of the three recording studios with, with I believe, 24 tracks or 30 tracks. It was quite unique in the world. Um, and we will... Uh, Based on that, we will give you a short energizer, so that's not only listening. Then Julius Sen will do a brief, uh, will give you a brief overview of the drivers behind our drivers. Then lunch will be served. Serge de Geldere from Future Proofed 
will give a presentation on innovations. And after that, I will explain you how the workshops uh, will work, uh, because then we do uh, an, uh, we want to have all your intellectual capital involved and uh, you have to bring that to the discussion tables. You will have one discussion on innovations and in the second round on the drivers or just the other way around. And at the end of the day there will be a wrap up. Uh, think of it if you want to volunteer for that wrap up because you will discuss about questions in the workshops and participants will do uh, a short presentation of only 90 seconds, so it's really short, uh, and you will give an answer on the questions uh, of discussed in these workshops. Then there is a buffet and drinks. But IEDC, we have only 10 members, 10 privately owned, worldwide working uh, companies who own at least 25 million of seagoing equipment. That means that worldwide approximately 30 companies qualify to become a member. So also Great Lakes, who was once founding father and is now in the US, no longer any member uh, anymore of IDC. We have two Japanese uh, members, Toa Corporation and Penta Ocean, uh, one uh, Korean, Hyundai, and two from the Middle East, um, Gulf Kobla and uh, National Marine Dredging Company, NMDC and then the five companies who are present today, Dutch Stretching, Jan de Nul, Deme from Belgium, and Van Oort Boscalis from the Netherlands. IEDC is a PR and promotion company. We work on the connotation of the word dredging. There's very often a lot of confusion what dredging is, a lot of misinterpretation, we devastate nature, we uh, work with contaminated sediments, but reali reality is far from that. We work uh, along the lines of five uh, verbs, uh, educating, informing, promoting, networking and connecting. And I will show you some examples of these uh, uh, five verbs. All these examples can be found on our website, idcdredging.com. Uh, so there is... Uh, it contains a lot of, uh, of knowledge and information you can make use of. Then educating. Um, the dredging seminars we organize three times a year. One of them is uh, organized in Delft together with IHE uh, UNESCO University uh, and two on other locations. Um, the environmental seminar that's based on the book Environmental Aspects of Dredging. We organize webinars, and for that we need your input, because we as IDC, with the staff, and it's only a staff of uh, eight people uh, who are partly working for IDC, we don't have the knowledge to, or, to do a webinar. You are the experts, we need you to uh, present the webinars. And I think it's very challenging, because it's always a problem to have experts from the member companies willing to do such a presentation. We are working on uh, the book Dredging for Sustainable Infrastructure, the successor of the environmental aspects of dredging. Who's familiar with the book Environmental Aspects of Dredging? A few. Only the president of the, the chair of the PR committee. So apparently you're not aware of. That can, make, can bring me to one conclusion that we still have a lot of work to do. Um, the successor of that book is Dredging for Sustainable Infrastructure, a much more holistic book um, and that will be published in November this year and we do it together with uh, CEDA. Uh, member of, uh, employees of member companies are involved, Mark van Koningsveld van Van Oort, Marcel van Parijs van Jan de Nul, Stefan Arninghoff, former Boscalis, uh, and today uh, uh, professor at the TU, at the TU Delft. Um, by coincidence, nobody of DEME is uh, represented in the uh, editorial board, but uh, it's, it's really a product of uh, contractors, uh, mainly contractors uh, involved in the editorial board. The other word is informing. We published the Terra at Aqua, and I hope that I see a little bit more hands than the only hand of the chair of the PR committee who knows Terra at Aqua, who Ah, for, <laughs> lucky. Who, who has a subscription on it? Digital or hard copy? 
It's a free subscription. It's the only technical journal in the industry. So I really recommend uh, this journal. Uh, it's seen as independent um, by consultants, clients, and of course contractors. Um, it, it's a really good uh, journal, and if you want to have eternal fame in the industry, publish in that magazine. Yeah, it, it's really true. Um, dredging in figures. That was the Terra. Dredging in figures. This is the, uh, the document in which we publish the turnover of last year's uh, dredging turnover in the industry. Um, I will give you some uh, figures from dredging in figure uh, in a few slides. Do we publish the cost standards? It's uh, used for uh, um, um, how to uh, portion turnover in, uh, in joint ventures, for instance, where you are working together. Uh, the indexation of these cost standards, the, the fleet list, we publish facts about, available on the website, very condensed information, mainly to be used to, to public and consultants who are not really aware of uh, a specific topic. It's not, not really in-depth knowledge. And to another uh, example of informing is that we published the report uh, on ecosystem services. Um, this concept is one of the main elements of the book Dredging for Sustainable Infrastructure. And we think as IDC that's commonly known, but if you visit the conference then people hardly know about what ecosystems really is and what the concept of ecosystem services can bring us uh, to, uh, to our industry. Then some examples you probably not aware of. This is a slide about the worldwide turnover in the dredging industry. It's only up to 2014 because until that year we included also the turnover of the closed markets. As you can see, the China is involved for approximately 4 billion euros um, and also the US, what in fact are closed markets. From 2014 on, it was impossible to verify uh, their turnovers. So we decided not to publish that anymore. Um, and it gives a clear overview uh, to give you... This is the Middle East, and then we get here the credit crunch and we all left the Middle East. But fortunately for the Dutch companies, Europe grew a little bit because the Maasvlak, the two projects uh, came to the market. And you see all on the top over here, you see the port uh, activities in Australia, you see an increase. Uh, but mainly this 4 billion and North America that couldn't be verified, so is now excluded from further, uh, uh, from future uh, figures. If you don't look to uh, areas but to drivers, and Frank will uh, uh, elaborate on it, you see the importance of the trade capital. So that's construction, capital dredging for ports, waterways, etc. That's of major importance for the industry. Uh, again, it's until 2014. Uh, smaller uh, drivers. Uh, industry will pick up, of course, because there's also renewables uh, in it. Um, and coastal protection, it's not that much at the moment, but when the Greenland, the ice on Greenland melts, we get a sea level rise of six meters. If the Antarctic melts completely, we get a sea level rise of 60 meters. So this is only 17 meters above sea level. It wouldn't be possible to have an event like this uh, uh, here anymore. Probably, no, not probably. We won't experience it in our lifetime, but it will maybe the future. Then a more recent uh, uh, figure is 2015, the dredging uh, turnover. You saw it was 12 billion in uh, 2014. It decreases if you leave out China, zero, and North America. It's only the turnover of Canada. We have only a turnover of 7 billion in uh, 2015. You see a major amount over here, and that's the Suez Canal. If you then look to 2016, you see the difference, Suez Canal is ready, 
and then it's two billion less in the open markets. So this is fairly stable, but there is a major drop in the Indian subcontinent. Um, these figures are collected by the dredging companies. Uh, Anne Jan Fokkema, one of the moderators, is part of the working group, and we discuss together with the four uh, big companies from uh, Belgium and the Netherlands uh, in a kind of a Delphi panel method. Um, what the rights, right figures were for last year, and we do that every year again. And even if it's produced by dredging contractors, this has been considered as the truth in the outside world. Analysts from banking, uh, banking uh, and other financing institutions, they count, they, they base their uh, analysis on these, uh, these data. Then the insured value. Of equipment, we are, as I said, we have uh, uh, eight employees on the secretariat, partly working for IDC. We also have a mutual insurance company, and I got the data from that mutual insurance company. I started ten years ago. The equipment of the four Dutch and Belgium dredging companies, the big ones, had a value of a little bit more than four billion. Over here, it's ten billion, and there is nearly announced 2 billion on investments, dedicated vessels, dredging vessels. Um, so there is a major increase in, uh, in capacity. Apparently, management of the member companies really believe in the industry and that there is a, no, a bright future, but a good future in front of us. Over here, you see a major increase there. there was anybody from Boscalis who has an idea? Doc Weiss and Smith Tuck came also into our insurance portfolio. One of the other verbs is promoting. We uh, do presentations all over the world, uh, visit conferences, uh, write articles in magazines, and we also uh, grant the IADC Young Author Award. And this is the first one who won this year the prize for the second time. Anybody of DME who knows this person, François de Keulenier, uh, normally we try to give it away to other people that you don't win it twice, but it was so yeah, over clear that uh, he was, uh, the, it was the best paper and the best presentation at the last PIAN conference in uh, Panama. That brings me to networking. We are a member of uh, PIAN, we work together in PIAN working groups. Uh, the IAPH, the International Association of Ports and Harbors, uh, they just launched their World Port Sustainability Program. Uh, they also see that sustainability becomes more and more relevant. Ports are, as you have already seen, trade is the major driver, so ports are our biggest clients, are your biggest clients. So it's really good to work together and to see where your common interest is and where you can deal with that common interest. SEDA, WEDA and EDA, uh, I assume you're all familiar with that, the European Dredging Association, that's the lobby group in uh, the lobby association uh, in Brussels. FIDIC, the Engineers uh, uh, Association, um, you have the FIDIC dredging contract, uh, recently updated and all based on input from, uh, from the dredging contractors. Uh, organization of uh, American states, uh, they have a port committee, and it's not only the US, but all Americas, uh, Latin America included. So we really have an interest there to bring our message and to inform them what, uh, what our ideas are about environmental sound working, etc. Then connecting. This is an example of connecting. As you are an association, you have to connect your members. They have to network together because they have common interests, and we need to work together to deal with uh, those common interests. Uh, you see that what was in the past mainly focused on dredging becomes a, a broader scope because renewables, wind farms, uh, you see the, the big companies expanding their work to other uh, areas and uh, when of relevance we uh, can also um, uh, work in these, uh, these fields as IDC. There are Several people present who once joined the IDC Young Management uh, Program. Um, it's a three-day course, uh, partly lectured by um, Julius Sen. 
Um, I think it is the, the idea is to open the blinds of experts to what's happening in the outside world on macroeconomic level, on cl climate change uh, issues, uh, uh, financing is, uh, issues, etc. And we also have an annual general meeting where senior management meets each other, meets each other. Uh, CEOs of the member companies are present, organized somewhere at the world um, because we have Japanese members, we go also to the east, uh, but recently we are in Marseille and this year we will be in Budapest. We try to organize it in a location connected to water. Uh, you can say it Budapest, Danube is there, but it's not really of relevance for, for our work. So these are the five verbs we are working along. I hope it, got, it gave you a, a brief impression, uh, a glimpse of what IDC is doing. Uh, doing with uh, four full-time equivalents within the Secretariat, but it can't be done without your uh, inputs and without your involvement in the, uh, in the industry and in our association. With that, and I kept it really in time, my 20 minutes, I hand over to Frank, uh, who will deal with the drivers of the industry. Thank you. Thank you.